Kevin O'Shea, Program Manager, STEP Program, Arizona Commerce Authority. Kevin holds a law degree, JD, from the Bolt Hall School of Law, University of California at Berkeley. And after graduation from law school, Mr. O'Shea practiced law in San Francisco, California for several years. And he has a long history of working with uh, presence in Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. And currently, as I just said, he's with the Arizona Commerce Authority and he oversees the STEP program. Kevin is going to be talking about local resources for reaching new markets. Kevin, the Arizona Commerce Authority assists businesses um, in export. What kinds of assistance does the ACA provide? Could you expand sure. on that, please? ACA has the Arizona State Trade Export Promotion Program, known as AZ Step, and that is a technical assistance and financial assistance program for small businesses th statewide throughout the state. There are some 230 companies currently enrolled in that program from 27, 28 cities, towns, and communities throughout the state. That's a program that provides export counseling, um, export uh, market assessment for companies, as well as financial assistance for companies to attend trade shows, trade missions, to do language translation for their website, perhaps to do language translation for their products and manuals, for their, for their product manuals, and also their uh, uh, collateral advertising brochures, among that's, other things. That's fabulous. Um, so when you assist them, exactly what kind of assistance are you giving them in education and counseling and trade shows? Sure. On the educational side, that, can, that could be one-on-one -on -one counseling directly with a company, helping them identify perhaps low-hanging fruit export markets for them. It could be um, education that's substantive, perhaps on a key export topic of particular interest to them. Maybe that's logistics. Maybe that's protecting their intellectual property in a foreign market. Um, it could be uh, international marketing assistance. Um, that could also be education that's geographically focused. It could be an educational seminar focused on a particular export market. For instance, we'll put on programs doing business in Mexico, uh, export issues related to China. Those are just a few examples. Wonderful. Now, you did mention Mexico. Mm -hmm. What kind of presence and opportunities um, does the Arizona Chamber of Commerce has in Mexico, and what kind of opportunities sure. are present for the businesses here in Arizona? Mexico is certainly a priority export market, as identified by the Arizona Commerce Authority, uh, as well as Canada. Those are, our, those are two of our largest trading partners that we have with the state of Arizona. We have an, an office in Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico that assists companies with export opportunities, B2B matchmaking. Uh, they also assist with foreign direct investment, attracting investment from Mexico into Arizona. Um, we have a particularly strong focus on Mexico in our STEP program. Um, there are 72 countries being reported by these companies in the program as export success destinations related to utilization of the program. The country that is most frequently cited among the 72 is, not surprisingly, Mexico. Mexico presents huge opportunities for Arizona businesses on the export front. It's a huge consumer market that's just getting more affluent as the years go by. So there are plenty of opportunities for small businesses and other businesses in Arizona who are selling into the consumer markets. A perfect example would be over-the-counter medical products in pharmacies throughout the country. Mexico is also increasingly involved in highly sophisticated manufacturing, whether that's automotive, medical device, aerospace, again presenting huge opportunities for Arizona companies on the manufacturing side to sell into those supply chains. So we have a strong push um, on the export side between 
uh, B2B and B2G matchmaking services for companies, trade missions, trade shows, uh, just to name a few. So you mentioned uh, that there are over 200 companies currently. And so based on the, the step data that, that you have, what are companies exporting? Uh, you, you said Mexico is one of the largest sure, ones. Sure. And uh, what are the major sectors in an export market? Sure. Well, again, as I said, we have over 230 companies in the program, export success to 72 countries so far, and the export's dollar success is over $40 million. Wow. And this is a program that enrolled its first company just less than two years ago. Um, so we're seeing companies have nearly immediate export success, very near-term export success, and we know that those figures will only increase as some of these companies realize their export success over a longer period of time. Mexico and Canada represent the largest uh, uh, export destinations for these companies. Other significant um, countries that are on that export um, uh, uh, por profile would be uh, UK, Germany, Australia, South Korea, South Africa, China, um, among, among some others. Sectors represented in the STEP program, the largest sector would probably, would, would definitely be aerospace defense security. Other sectors that are heavily represented among the 230 companies, medical device, healthcare technology, uh, nutraceuticals, cosmeceuticals, uh, pharmaceuticals, um, also a wide variety of consumer products, mining products, mining services. Uh, again, just to mention a few. So Kevin, um, so many businesses in Arizona are wondering, well, you know, we're doing well here. Why export? Why, sure. What would you say? Great question. It's most simplistically what I say to a company, I ask them, would they like five customers to walk into their shop today? Or would they like 100 customers to walk into their shop today? 5% of the world's consumers are in the U.S. The other 95% are outside the US. So a company that's thinking export markets is really looking into a much broader potential customer pool. Um, I've also, during this program, talked with companies who've told me that they are essentially still in business right now because during the particularly difficult times during the recession, they were exporting. Those export markets help them survive. I've also talked to other companies who've told me they really struggled during that recession because they were not in export markets. And many of those tell me that's the last time that's, that I'm going to find myself in that position. So companies are realizing um, just how broad and deep markets are outside the states and the importance for them not only to thrive but in some situations, to survive in difficult times, they need to be thinking of exporting. Kevin, the data that you have shared is very promising for businesses that want to grow and expand, especially if they have any inclination of wanting to go abroad. Now they have some data to really support that it is a good idea. Is there anything else that you would like to share with our listeners today? Yes, I think uh, what I'd like to share is... Um, how broad and how deep the Arizona landscape is, not only for companies who have very real possibilities of exporting their products and services, but also the talent pool in this state for export assistance is very broad and very deep. It's a state that I think is marked by not only a tremendous amount of talent, of talent but also tremendous collaboration among various entities, organizations, such as the Arizona Commerce Authority, the U.S. Commercial Service, the Arizona District Export Council, various business chambers, business associations, the, the U.S. Small Business Administration, the Small Business Development Centers. In this state, we are all working together very collaboratively to be of great assistance to small and medium-sized and large businesses throughout the state. Thank you, Kevin.